नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज टीचिंग लर्निंग इंटरवेंशन इन इंक्लूसिव क्लास रूम माई नेम इज तंदी खुराना एंड यू वॉचिंग आस ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल नंबर थ्री और द क्लास थ्री स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन इंग्लिश क्लास वेर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पोएम एंड दैट इज सी सॉन्ग वेल डू यू नो वट इज अ सी आई एम श्योर यू नो वट इज अ सॉन्ग but we'll discuss this unit unit number 4 c song with our expert who is here present in our studio and she'll be giving us all these details about this poem if you have any questions any queries please give us a call on our number which is 8800440559 if you want to email us the email id would be dth.class3@ciet.nic.in and also you're watching us right now on our youtube channel that is ncert official in the live chat box you can write down your questions queries and you can share them with us so on your screens you can see a sign language interpreter let me introduce her to all of you she is miss stuti kumari a very warm welcome to you ma'am so she'll be interpreting each and every word we discuss in this program and now let me introduce you to our today's guest and she is a special educator mrs jyotsna vadva very warm welcome to you ma'am thank you tanvi hello namaskar everyone namaskar ma'am and uh, like i said she'll be discussing the entire poem please share your questions till 12:30 we have got a lot of time so let's begin this discussion and let's ask ma'am what is this poem all about and uh, we can also see uh, the title it says sea song so what is this song who is singing this song ma ah uh, yeah then we it's about a poem is about a small boy mm -hmm. uh, who is visiting a sea सी मतलब एक समुद्र बहुत बड़ा सा जहाँ पे एंड वहाँ पे ही हैज गॉट अ शेल शेल इज अ शंक वॉट यू कॉल बट अ स्मॉल कर्ली वन उसको एक मिलता है वहाँ पे और वो उसको लेके वेरी इंक्लूजिटिव एज अ चाइल्ड बिकॉज इट वॉज अ न्यू थिंग फॉर हिम सो ही खेम आर रनिंग टू हिज मदर और मदर के पास वो अपना शेल लेके आता है एंड mm मॉम -hmm. उसको वो शेल के अंदर जो साउंड हैं जो सॉन्ग है mm -hmm. उस सॉन्ग को उसके कान के साथ लगा के सुनाती हैं ही वॉज सरप्राइज टू हेयर दैट सॉन्ग सो इट द स्टोरी इज अबाउट द सी सॉन्ग लाइक द शेल दैट इज सिंगिंग अ सॉन्ग इन साइड इट ओके मैम वुड यू लाइक टू रीड आउट द पोएम टू ऑल आर व्यूअर्स या श्योर लेट्स रीड द पोएम अब आपको जैसे आपको स्क्रीन पे नजर आ रहा होगा इट्स अ चैप्टर थ्री सी सॉन्ग आई फाउंड अ शेल अ कर्ली वन लाइंग ऑन अ सैंड आई पिक्ड इट अप एंड टुक इट होम कोल्ड इन साइड माई हैंड ही फाउंड अ शेल स्मॉल छोटा सा शेल उसको मिलता है लाइक वी कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन The curly one, curly means एक छोटे से अगर हम देखेंगे तो उसके ऊपर ऐसे छोटे छोटे कट्स बने हुए so, lying on a sand, सी के पास हमारे को बहुत सारी sand नजर आती है सी के अक्सर पास में आप देखेंगे तो रेत एक पड़ी होती है जहाँ पे लोग बच्चे अपना छोटे छोटे towers बनाते हैं किले बनाते हैं ये सब कुछ बनाते हैं I picked it up as a boy singing a uh, reading a story, so I picked it up and took it home. because as a child i told that he was very inquisitive to see the thing he picked it up and took it home ghar leke aaya wo shell ko cold inside my hand when because it was near the sea the sand is always very cold enough mm -hmm. so he hold, hold that shell and it was very cold inside the hand was freezing cold mummy looked at it and then she held it to my ear obviously as a child the first thing you go as a child you go to your mom because she is the one person who is more uh, most of the children are accessible to the mom. mama ke paas hum bhag ke sab bacche hamare jaate hain hmm. to mama ke paas wo leke gaya and uski mama ne that shell she took it in the ha uske haath mein pakdaya aur uske kaano ke paas leke gaye because from the ear you can hear so he was child was little surprised ki mama ye cheez ko ek dikha maine to i just bought it and what she is showing it to me and from a shell there came a song soft sweet and clear us shell ke andar se usko ek song sunai diya jo bahut soft sweet aur clear tha 
बहुत शांत सा एक है सी के अगर हम आवाज सुनेंगे जो आगे अभी हम स्लाइड पे देखेंगे सी के अगर हम सी के पास हम खड़े होते हैं तो देर इज अ वेरी डिफरेंट साइड ऑफ रिदमिकली साउंड कम्स फ्रॉम द सी एंड दैट एग्जैक्ट साउंड वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम द शेल विच वॉज वेरी सॉफ्ट वेरी स्वीट एंड वेरी क्लियर फॉर अ लिटिल वन विच वॉज अ डिफरेंट थिंग फॉर हिम अ लिटिल डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर हिम आई वॉज सरप्राइज आई लिसन हार but it was really true as a child it was something new for a child hmm. because usne kabhi ye cheez dekhi shell was the first thing to bahut inquisitive ke ghar leke aaya main mama ne usko kano ke paas usko pehnaya aur sunaya to isme usko surprise ho ke usne bahut dhyan se listen hard means bahut dhyan se usne usko suna but it was really true what was true that the soft clear voice was coming from the shell inside I wish you had find a nice big shell and hear it singing too. Kash wo kehta hai ki aapko bhi ek bada sa shell mile because shells are always of a different size and shapes. And aap us shell ko apne kano ke paas jab leke jayenge you can hear it singing too. Aap usko voice ko aap dobara sun sakte hain bahut achhi se ek meethi se ek different sa experience bacche ko is pure poem ke andar nazar aaya. Now I was talking about the sound waves, the sound waves which are coming through the सी शोर जो शेल के अंदर उसको सुनाई दिया सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू यू पीपल टू एक्सपीरियंस वंस थिंग कि किस तरीके से साउंड वेव हमें सुनाई दी थी जैसे कि हम तन्वी सुन रहे हैं कि ये वॉइस जो हम लोगों को सुनाई दी ये साउंड वेव सी के पास जब हम जाके खड़े होते हैं जो सी हमारे कोस्टल एरियाज में है जैसे गोवा है हम साउथ साइड चले जाते हैं वहां बहुत सारे कोस्टल एरियाज में जहां सी के साइड अगर हम वहां बैठ के खड़े होकर सुने तो ये साउंड वेव हमारे को सुनाई देती है सेम साउंड वेव हमें शेल में से भी आती है जब हम उसको कान के पास लेके जाते हैं सो दिस वॉज द साउंड वेव विच वॉज द चाइल्ड वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द होल पोएम सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अब हम देखते हैं इंक्लूसिव एजुकेशन में इस पोएम को हम कैसे पढ़ेंगे सुनिट फॉर हैव यू एवर कलेक्टेड शेल्स एंजॉय दिस पोएम अबाउट अ शेल दैट सिंग्स Sea song. I found a shell, a curly one, lying on the sand. I picked it up and took it home. Gold inside my hand. Mummy looked at it. and then she held it to my ear and from the shell there came a song soft and sweet and clear i was surprised i listened hard but it was really true i wish you would find a nice big shell and hear it singing too uh let's read the summary of the story the whole story what is all about the poem is about a small little boy he found a sea shell on the sand near the river usko ek chota sa shell milta hai jo sea ke paas पड़ा हुआ सैंड के ऊपर पड़ा होता है ही ब्रिंग्स द शेल टू हिज मादर एज अ चाइल्ड ही जस्ट रन एंड पिक्स इट अप एंड ब्रिंग इट टू हिज मादर 
she makes him listen the soft sweet sound from the shell usko wo kaan se laga ke sunati hai ki what is the shell what is the shell singing it was a soft sweet sound which is coming from the shell and the boy was really surprised to listen to the song and was very surprised and very happy to hear that song okay so that's a very pretty poem ma'am and uh, it says a lot uh, and uh, it's it's uh, it has a deep meaning to it and uh, we would like to know a lot of things related to this poem from you so firstly the title is sea song and uh, we say that i saw or um, we see so that is s e e and uh, this c is s e a so the um, spellings are different but the pronunciation is same are these two similar what is the difference c uh, uh, the word is s e a it's mm -hmm. about a big jisko hum kehte hain samudra bahut bada mm -hmm. and s e e e is dekhna mm -hmm. so they are the homophones ek jaise sunai dete hain but they have different meaning but yes we see a sea jisko hum keh sakte hain ek samudra ko hum apni aankhon se dekhte hain mm -hmm. so that we can say okay तो हम इंग्लिश में बहुत सारे वर्ड्स ऐसे भी लर्न करते हैं जिनकी प्रोनाउंसिएशन सेम होती है पर उनकी मीनिंग एकदम अलग होते हैं बिल्कुल कैन यू गिव एनी मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सच पेयर्स लाइक इफ यू कैन से द वन हेयर एंड इट इज एच ए आई आर लाइक हमारे बाल एंड एच ई आर ई हेयर इस जगह सो दे दीज आर वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल होमोफोन्स जो हम क्लास सेकेंड एंड थर्ड में पढ़ते हैं बच्चे एंड ऐसे एज अ चाइल्ड बहुत सारे बच्चों को ये वर्ड्स रेगुलर रिवाइज कराए जाते हैं हमारे स्कूल में एंड जो बच्चों को एक समझ भी आता है ओके और राइट मैम हमने इस पोइम में एक लाइन थी विद कर्ली शेल सो वी वुड लाइक टू नो फ्रॉम यू दैट आर ऑल द शेल्स कर्ली are they of same size same shape and uh, do they all sing just the way uh, we heard it in this poem no uh, see uh, the the shells are of different kinds okay. somewhere we find a large big shells somewhere we find a very small shells these shells can be found in the ornaments also uh, usually aajkal ornaments bante hain in which the necklaces are where the small shells are used they are curly some are curly like there are waves in it and some are the straight ones okay jo bilkul seedhe hote hain jab hum puja ke time pe which we use in during the temples they are the straight ones although the shape is little different but they are not very curly they are little straight one so that is the one thing and uh, they are usually different in size and shapes found near the seas only and uh, uh, some of them sing but the big ones they don't sing wo zyada because jo heavy hote sing they don't they cannot sing much but thode they zor sing karte because that volume of that shell is little on a lighter side okay all right and uh, are they of some uh, same color as well are they all white no they are not tried some are really off white some are gray in color some are uh, white in color some are white and different different colors are there definitely but they are in the lighter tones most of them are in the lighter tones of the okay. shell so we understood from this poem that uh, we can find uh, shells and sand on the sea shore ma'am other than these two what else can we find on the beach on the sea shore uh as we have talked about the uh, on the sea we find shells sand and sometimes we find the starfish also some of the hazardous things are also found on the uh, sea like uh, the octopus and the crabs are also moving on the sea uh, near the sea side and so, uh, as we talk about the green environment and everything but although the plastics are banned nowadays but still we find some few of the plastic items near the sea which the people are not looking at it but yes definitely the awareness is going on and so it will definitely be out absolutely so that's a lesson for our kids next time you go to a beach please do not pollute the environment or throw any uh, single use plastic on the beach let's just keep our environment as clean as possible right ma'am right okay definitely. so um, ma'am when we go near the sea there's sea water and uh, children just love to be in the sea inside and uh, can they drink that water is it safe is it drinkable 
No, not at all. If uh, sometimes if you go into the sea water, we go for the sea sports, and if you dip into the water, the sea so, uh, the sea water is always salty, and it is not advisable to drink that water at all. Although we get the water from the rivers and the natural resources, but that is being uh, fixed it up through different procedures that is made to use it for drinking. But uh, yes, definitely sea water is not at all advisable to drink. Okay. So no matter how much uh, children play with the sea water, do not drink it. That's a lesson. Okay. And uh, ma'am, we understood in this poem that uh, the child brought the shell home. So is it safe for children to bring these uh, shells home? Do they need any permission or uh, is it dangerous to touch them? Are there insects inside which can bite them? Anything? Yes, definitely, Tanvi. If we talk about the little ones, they are very inquisitive, as I told earlier also. They are very inquisitive to uh, look out for something new. When they see something new, they just run away and run away and run away. But uh, when we go to the sea, as I have told, there are many other animals also. There are many reptiles and insects that are very dangerous. You never know about all the insects. There are so many species around. But yes, Yes, definitely when if they are interested in take the shell home back home leke aana chahte hain shell ko so definitely under the guidance of all, the parents because uske andar koi bhi insect aisa ho sakta hai jo ki zaruri nahi hai ki hame usi samay mile agar hum parents as a parent if you are picking it up make sure that is that the shell is empty and so uh, under the guidance of pair, uh, children they can come and take it home back home and they can decorate it at home okay all right and uh, ma'am seashores or uh, we live in cities we live in villages where are these seashores uh, always uh, in goa or uh, no andamans that's what we have heard but other than that where else we can find seashores uh, see mostly the seashores are on the coastal areas like okay. if we talk about the south india of our part there are lot of seas are there mm -hmm. and then Goa is famous for all the seashores and everything the most of the rivers and Arabian Sea and everything is there only but uh, yes there are Bombay if we take up Bombay if we take up Calcutta there are rivers over there also if nearby in our uh, northern India part if we go there are rivers in Punjab there are rivers in uh, 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 this Haridwar the big Ganges are is there so it's not only like especially in Delhi we don't have it nearby but yes definitely there it's all over all the past part of India it is there okay okay so uh, like you said ma'am uh, that not all shells sing just the way we heard it in this poem but are there any similar sounds you can you can just inform us which are similar to waves the ones uh, yes uh, the, uh, in this poem we were talking about the sweet and soft sound that was coming from the sea and as we have heard from the slide also but yes when there are high tides uh, especially at the nights or during uh, the full moon time there are high tides around in the sea and if you listen to the sea uh, sounds over there that is very roaring and sometimes as a little ones we get frightened even as an adult we get frightened about it to hear that sound because that is very noisy and the sound is continuously coming from one sound to another the, the stoppage is not at all there and the high the tides are the as the tides are very high the sound is also very high okay and uh, ma'am what is the use of these uh, seashells you said we can use it for ornaments other than that you can decorate your home as we have said we use it uh, in the rituals also uh, if you see in the mandirs and everything over there there we see the uh, the our spiritual readers are having that and yes definitely the children can bring it home as the child being so inquisitive about it they can bring it home they can color it with different colors they can decorate their drawing rooms or their study rooms with that and uh, yes the ornaments are definitely nowadays made from that and even uh, you can decorate it on the pencil box on the uh, what you call the pen stand also you can decorate it 
through that also okay. through the can shelves can they use it for their homework projects any of the art projects yes definitely it is also used nowadays these shelves are uh, available on the in the local markets also it mm -hmm. is transport exported from the shores and everywhere so you can use it uh, uh decorating your files your projects and sometimes the definitely the few things are being told that you what you have visited during the uh, uh vacations mm -hmm. if you have visited so that this is a definitely the best part to show in your scrapbook okay all right so in the story it's a very small poem ma'am uh, but there is a story there's a connection we can feel in the poem where uh, the child goes to a mother and then the mother uh, makes him listen to the song from the shell so there's a connection between the mother and the child which has been portrayed in the poem so what is the author trying to say here with this relationship is there anything uh, you would like to highlight about uh as being uh, also uh, as a mother i would say that uh, usually uh, the children are they take a comfort zone for the mothers mm -hmm. like whatever they bring they are the first one to share it with their parents the little ones definitely they go and share it with the parents but yes most of the mothers if they are not working the fathers they'll come back home and then only they'll be able to see but as a mother who is non working the children would take the things up to the mother and show it to their mothers so in this the emotion bonding between the child because as a child the child trust the parents only because they are the one who will be guiding and telling them everything the truth what is coming so as a child he was very inquisitive to hear what is it something different from it and he was pretty sure that he will get this answer from his mother only about what is it and what the answers are there it is through the parents only you get it so through this the uh, the poet is trying telling trying to show us that the child being a child the first the family is the first institute where you learn certain things so this was the main crux of the story the main thing of the story okay that was a beautiful story and you narrated it so well would you like to read the story once again for our viewers and uh, let them know each and every word once again sure sure so sure then let's just uh, see the presentation once again and uh, you can see the words written in the poem once again i found a shell a curly one lying on a sand shell though as we can see on the screen itself the curly one there are curls small small curls are there the small waves are there on the shell lying on a sand as we can see these shells as i have told earlier these shells are found on the sand near the sea shores i picked it up and took it home he the child as a child being inquisitive he picked it up and bring it back home cold inside my hand as it was lying near the seashore definitely the sand is very cold so the shell automatically got very cold and it was while holding his hands also got cold enough mummy looked at it and then she held it to my ear the mother she look at it that what is the what the child has got he uh, she asked him to hold it in his hand close the uh, Uh, the hand and make it near the ear and from a shell there came a song and it to a surprise shell ke andar se ek chhota sa song ek pyara sa song sunai diya soft and sweet and clear the song was very soft sweet and clear i was surprised i listened hard the child something new for him he was very surprised he listened hard listen hard means bahut dhyan se usne sunne ki koshish ki but it was really true but yes definitely there was a song in the shell the sweet sound was coming i wish you had find a nice big shell and hear it singing too he wished that शेल छोटा नहीं हो के बहुत बड़ा सा होता सो डेफिनेटली शायद उसको और ज्यादा अच्छे से सुनाई देता और ज्यादा बड़ा सॉन्ग सुनाई देता एंड सिंग करे बाकी लोग भी उसको सुने एक बार दैट वाज द स्टोरी दैट वाज द पोएम अबाउट ऑल अबाउट इट्स अ वेरी प्रिटी पोएम एंड द सेकंड लास्ट लाइन इज वंडरफुल दैट आई विश यू हैड फाइंड अ नाइस नाइस शेल 
so i hope all the children get to hear this sweet sweet song from the shell please find your shells if you are visiting a beach or a seashore next time let's see the three keywords of this entire poem and uh, our sign language interpreter she'll help you understand uh, these vocabulary which we have learnt from this lesson so let's have the keywords on our screens and uh, the keywords are like you can see on your screens curly shell surprised curly shell surprised all right and uh, let me request ma'am to give you some homework and uh, here comes the homework sure as we can see on the slide first the first question is where did the child find the sea shell the second question is what did the child hear child ko kya sunai diya usme and the same questions we can use it for the modification the modified homework where did the child find the sea shell the first option is on the sand in the water it is for this as we talking about the inclusive education so it is for the inclusive setup the second question is what did the child hear option a loud noise option b sweet soft and clear song so in both the uh, the things the option is very clear where the child as an uh, can see and just give a tick mark on it absolutely ma'am we would like to know from you as a special educator when uh, the special educators teach in the classroom and it's an inclusive classroom so what are the uh, teaching learning materials one can use to explain this poem to the children uh, as in we talk about the inclusive education as being a special educators we can use the things like shell mm -hmm. for the visually uh, for the uh, like visual impaired when they cannot see but at least they can feel it right. so we can make them you uh, touch the shell and feel the shell how what is the shape of the shell mm -hmm. and as a hearing impaired we, we can use the sign language as a things and yes definitely the sand a sand pit can be made where the different things can be put on the uh, the small sand can be there the shells different type of shells can be put on jisko wo touch karke feel karke hamare bacche usko uh, ek inclusive usme ek being a part of the inclusive setup unko ye na lage ki hum bilkul alag hain ya hame pata nahi lag raha so that could be done okay great so let's have a look at the homework format in which you can send your answers to all of us let's just look at the format so this is the format please write down your name and then your class here please mention class 3 then write your school name and school address and then the expert or the teacher's name in this case please write uh, mrs jyotsna vadva and then the date of the session which is today 28th of july 2022 and to do add your photograph although it's optional but if you'll add it it'll be very beautiful and you can share this entire homework on the email id which is dth.class3@ciet.nic.in we do receive your answers every now and then but uh, one uh, one of the answers we would like to uh, say that uh, there's an uh, email we received from one of our students or from one of our viewers and the session was for class 1 it was a math session and we received the answer of the question which was asked in the question and uh, number of wheels of bicycle is 33 well your answer is definitely correct and this has been sent to us by swara kaleshwar nagmoti she has mentioned this is for standard 1 and she has also mentioned that uh, she is from child progress primary school dhanora ta dhanora di gadchiroli so uh, you have written your uh, class you have written your name you have written the school's name and address but uh, please 
mention your uh, date the date of the session and the experts name as well do not uh, forget to mention these two details these are very very important we definitely appreciate all the answers we receive from all our viewers but uh, if you will send it in this format it will be very very helpful for everybody thank you so much uh, i would like to thank our uh, sign language interpreter first he interpreted each and every word we discussed in this entire program so thank you so much stuti for being with us thank you and i would like to thank our guest here thank you so much ma'am for thank you thank you, thank you thank you thank you this was a wonderful conversation and uh, i'm sure our viewers enjoyed this entire narration thank sure. you thank you very much thank you to all our viewers for watching this program and i'm sure you liked it if you have any questions queries then please reach out to us ncrt official that is our youtube channel for now i am wrapping up this program but uh, we we'll come back tomorrow again same time same platform keep on watching pme vidya channels and take great care of yourself thank you namaskar